Hey, welcome back. So this week we're gonna check out the song Baby Please Don't Go from Sam Lightning Hopkins. I love this song, this is a great song. He plays it differently every single time and that's what makes it a little bit tricky. He will change the form or add a couple measures here and there um, each time to fit the lyrics. In this video, we're gonna check out him playing the song go over some of those different variations. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a standard arrangement of this song, and I'm gonna play it slowly with the metronome so that you can play along. Now the standard arrangement of this song is the basic arrangement. That's what he plays most of the time without the uh, subtle variations here and there. So let's just jump right in and listen to him play it, and then we'll go over the parts. All right, so that was his first kind of variation change uh, where he's adding a change from the first verse that he played it. The second time when he's singing, he adds a whole measure. And we'll go over that in just a second. Let's keep, let's listen back again. All right, cool. All right, so let's go over kind of the main themes that we've heard so far. So the main theme is that he has a monotonic bass most of the time, meaning this is clicking on the downbeats. One, two, three, four. The other thing that we're noticing, the difference between my guitar and his, is that he is actually tuned up half step, which is unusual, nobody does that anymore. Um, but it was quite common back um, in the old blues times. <laughs> It was quite common uh, for these older blues style players. They would tune up a half step so that this note would actually be F, okay? We're just gonna play it here in standard tuning so that you guys can try to play along. So the main theme, we'll play that slowly here. going into the answer part. He does this three times. And then we go into that second part. That's that main theme, you know, we're going to play this slowly later. Uh, but that's just the main theme. The main part here is just to make sure that you can keep that monotonic bass thumping. Okay, make sure that you're able to do that before you kind of move on to those next parts. When we're moving on here, it goes to an A chord. This is the four chord in the key of E. And this part's pretty cool. He's just hanging out between this A7 chord and this A6 chord. Okay, so he's going back and forth between those two parts. Okay, and then at the end, he does this cool phrase. Little pull off. Okay, so we're going to pull to second, pull off to open then hit that open B string. So all in context, it sounds like this. Moving on. Okay, kind of like an answer to that first phrase over the A. All right, now we're gonna go to the B7 chord and it's just hitting a B7. So just hold this B7 like you normally know it. And then that's that kind of turnaround phrase, and then he starts over. So now let's go into the kind of some of the variations that we talked about um, that he's doing. That's the, what I just kind of slowly went through there is the standard version. That's what he played the first round through. That's what we're gonna play later with a slow playthrough in this video. But now we're gonna talk about the variations. 
So let's find that spot where he first does that first verse variation. Um, and it's right, we'll find it here. Let's find that spot. Baby, please don't go. Now, baby, please don't go back to New Orleans. You know I love you so, baby. Okay, it's that spot where he says, um, Oh, baby, please don't go back to New Orleans. You know I love you, so baby, please don't go. That's the part, and we're gonna add that to the melody, meaning we have to hit a whole nother measure here. So I'm gonna back it up a little bit and just play this verse variation with the tab on the screen um, very slowly here. So it sounds like this. Here it comes. New part. Okay, so the main difference here is uh, right on this measure, uh, where after we play, oh baby, please don't go back to New Orleans. You know I love you so, baby, please don't go. Okay, so that's if you can sing that melody in your head or out loud while you're playing it, that'll help you remember when to add that variation. Now, he doesn't do that every single time. He's only adding that for one verse. The second and third verses, and pretty much throughout the rest of the song, he goes back to the standard arrangement, okay? So if you wanna sing along with the words, or you wanna play very accurately to what his arrangement is, add that the second round through of the verse that you're singing. Okay, cool. All right, so let's check out some of the other variations he does here. So some of the other cool things that he does is he's adding uh, ending variations. So instead of just doing that standard variation we did from before, this is a new ending variation. Let's hear him do it. In the ball and chain, So that's a really cool phrase, um, and it's fun because he gets to come all the way up here. This is what he's playing. And then back into it. And then back into it. Okay? So let's, let's slow that down a little bit, and then um, we'll play through it. So it's basically, this is what we call, a lot of people call box five in the minor pentatonic. Later, we're gonna go over a variation where he goes to box one. But here's box five, and he basically slides up on the B string. Okay, uh, he's going up to the 12th fret. 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 12 to nine. Okay, now he's also adding that thumb. Okay, so when he's after he plays that phrase, then he plays this B string to the second fret of the G string, open to an E major chord, and then he strums that to an A chord, E to B7, and then back to the phrase. Okay, so that's a really cool variation that he does. Um, he actually plays very, very similar phrases in other songs too. So uh, this is a cool one to learn. Now let's check out that last ending variation that he does. This is what he does to finish off the song. He doesn't do this in every version, um, but he does do this in several versions that several versions that I've heard. So let's check that out, and then uh, I'll show it to you, and then we'll head on to that slow playthrough. <laughs> That's a really cool variation. 
So let's play that through very slowly here. Um, so this is what we call box one of the minor pentatonic. And basically we're gonna slide all the way up to that 15th fret. Now you slide with your third finger here so you can play this phrase. Okay, so let's go through those notes. Basically, he's chunking on this note on the on the low E string as the bass, and then he's playing this. 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14. And then he ends with that same variation phrase we did before. To an E. And then he walks it up to an E7. So one more time slowly. So after the B7 chord, it sounds like this. B7. Okay. All right. So those are all the kind of variations that uh, he plays often, all the time. Um, so just remember, just go back in this video and, and, and find the placement of it and, and watch his versions of it to check out how he's doing those variations. But it's basically, he does this ending variation at the end only, and then he does that other ending variation the time before the ending. Every other time he's playing the standard uh, version, which we're going to go over right now, slowly with a metronome. So now we're gonna put the metronome on at very slow speed at 80 BPM. And we're just gonna play through the standard version without all the fancy stuff, just so you can start to play along. Now when you're ready to do this, go back in the video and then check out those variations and add those in uh, where appropriate. So uh, let's check it out and here we go. Two, three, four. So here we go, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and that's where it starts over. So that's that slow playthrough. So try to play that one first, check out the tabs, um, and then go back and see if you can add those variations. So I hope you had fun learning this one. This is a great song for you to get going on your monotonic bass stuff. Um, good luck with this one. Take it slow and be easy on yourself. You know, give yourself a lot of time to learn this type of stuff. It's not super easy. Um, so have fun with it, and uh, thanks to you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.